thank you for tuning in with us today. So we want to make sure you guys stay up to date. Make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, like, comment, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you can stay up to date. Also, follow us on Facebook, like, and comment. And we're also on Instagram, so don't forget to follow, like, and comment. Thank you for tuning in. join us today. We have been having such a great time this month learning that God made me. We've been learning that God created us to be creative, to be helpful, and to learn. And we have been learning so many new things. We can say hello in Spanish and Creole. We can say good morning in Spanish and we can say my name is in Spanish. So buenos dias, me llamo Miss Dali. And I'm so glad you could join me today. We're going to have a blast today. We're going to do our Bible verse. We're going to do our song. And because you know, Dolly loves to dance. And Ali and his friends from the treehouse are going to tell us our story today. So I hope you guys are ready for some fun because we're going to have a blast. Let's start with our Bible verse. You know how we get ready. We're going to stretch our arms, wiggle those fingers, and show me your muscles. Are you guys ready? Here we go. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. One more time. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 14. Great job, guys. I can tell you definitely been practicing. I'm so proud of you. So let's get those dancing feet ready and let's get ready to worship because you know we can worship God anywhere. So here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that song as much as I did. So we're going to let Ali and his friends from the treehouse tell us our story for today. So take it away, Ali. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much
everyone. I'm so happy to see you in the clubhouse today. I'm just looking at my photo album. It has so many great pictures of me and lots of places I like to go. Would you like to see them? Okay. This is me at my grandma's house. We are making her famous chocolate chip cookies using her secret recipe. Yum. My grandma lives so far away, we had to take a plane. Well, look at this one. This is the night before Christmas, right before bedtime. I was super excited for the next morning. I thought I was never going to go to sleep. I just love looking at all these photos. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Looking at a book of pictures, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I just love looking at my photo album. It has so many pictures of me and all the places I love to go. Remembering where you've been is fun. It's true. I've got a story about all those places for you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Casey, and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Do you want to see today's special? Ta-da! OK, these are all the places I've gone with the food truck. I went to the beach, I went to a campsite, and I was here in the city. And do you know what? No matter where I went, I always did one thing. Do you want me to tell you about it? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three. Tell me a story! Each place I went was totally different, but there was one thing I did no matter where I went. Do you want to know what I did? I talked to God! It's true! I talked to God on the beach and at the campsite and in the city. We can talk to God anywhere. The Bible teaches us we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. Let's think about all the times we can talk to God. Okay, can we talk to God when we wake up in the morning? Yes! Can we talk to God at night before we go to bed? Yes! We can talk to God anytime. Daytime, nighttime, bath time, nap time, anytime. And do you know what we can talk to God about? Mm -hmm. Anything. Can you talk to God and tell him you're feeling scared when there's a storm outside? Yes. Can you tell God when you're sad, when your friends aren't being nice? Yes. You can always tell God when you're sad. What about when you're happy because it's your birthday and you're getting presents. Can you tell God about it? Yes! You can talk to God about anything. That is so amazing. I love that we can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything. And guess what? God hears us. And you know why? Because you, right there, yes, you. You are so very important to God, no matter where you are or what you're doing, whether you're loud or quiet. You can talk to God and he will hear you because you're important. God made you and loves you. Did you like that story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me, who made you? God made me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you? God made me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. You can talk to God, and he always hears you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Isn't that great? We can talk to God anytime, anywhere, about anything, 
and he always hears us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it. Good. I can talk to God when I'm at my grandma's house and when I'm at home. I can talk to God anywhere, and he always hears me. You know what? How about I take a picture of you right where you are? You ready? Say cheese. Fantastic job, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. This week, we're learning that we can pray to God anywhere. Today, I'm in church, but we can pray to God anywhere we are. We can pray to God at the park, at the store. You can pray to God in your bed, in the living room, in the kitchen. Anytime you speak to God, God will hear your prayers. So remember, anywhere. Just like when Trinity was at the alpaca farm, God will even hear your prayers at the alpaca farm. Didn't those alpacas look cool? You can even pray to God while you're in the car. Even if you're with other people in the car. Right, Prince? You can pray to God with anybody. You can even pray to God sitting right on a rock in front of the water. So I saved the best place for last. You can pray to God even at the beach. Look at the beauty that God has created just for us. Just how he made us special and beautiful, he made the beach beautiful and amazing as well. I hope you guys had fun today um, with the Bible verse, with our song, and Ali and his friends from the treehouse. Remember guys that you can pray to God anywhere. I hope you guys had fun today. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.